All right, so here we are in Adobe After Effects, and as you can see, I have this image here of a bat, and it's a frontal image, and we just wanna animate it uh, flying. So if you have an image of a bird or any of these kinds, it's actually super easy to animate them if you're going to use them in um, yeah, like long distance shots. So of course, you don't want any kind of close-ups of this bat, this bat doesn't look realistic enough for that, um, but oftentimes you see in a shot like birds flying in the sky, bats flying, at night and you kind of can fake all these animations uh, simply in After Effects with a simple tool uh, without being an actual animator. So first of all, once you want to animate something, really think of how that animation is going to look like I said in the intro uh, and we are going to drag this into a new composition here at first. So what I'll do is click on my layer and then right over here you see this option for the Puppet tool, the Puppet Pin tool. If we click on that, we can actually click on our image right here uh, to make kind of joints. So we want a joint over here, uh, maybe over here and here, and actually also here. And then we want maybe a few joints over here uh, on, the, uh, on the bed itself, just to make sure it's not really uh, animating over here, and then another one here, here, and then again over here at the end. Okay, so now we have made some joints for our bat, and instantly if we're going to press U on the keyboard, you're going to see that we have a bunch of keyframes uh, right here for all these joints. So let's move 10 frames forward. So hold shift and press the page down key. And now we can animate it. So, um, well, before we start animating, actually we're going to um, set this like it's a slap down, like uh, the, the bed is kind of trying to go upwards. So how we'll do that is actually click on this one and this one uh, first, and we're going to drag this down and then also bring this one down. Okay, there we go. And really think of these uh, dots like real actual joints. So we can actually move these. There we go. Looks pretty good in my opinion. Maybe a little bit closer to the body. Uh, so we can do something like that. And the body actually, we want to move it up. So we're going to click on one of these joints, hold shift and select the other ones. And then move this up. And there we go. Maybe also uh, play a little bit with these joints. So everything looks kind of right? Okay, there we go. So now we have a nice uh, flap upwards and now we're going to move forward. So hold shift and press page down. And in this case, we want to make this go again. We're going to select all of these holding shift. And now we want to bring this down and this up. kind of try to make it somewhat right. As you can see, it's not perfect, but um, it gets the job done pretty pretty well, in my opinion. Okay, we can uh, drag this out a little bit more, and there we go. So, now we have this animation. And already it looks kind of good, so what we're going to do is now select all of our first keyframes and copy these, and then go to the second keyframes, again, go 10 frames forward, and then paste these keyframes, so now we have a kind of loop. Then go one frame backwards with the page up key, and then we're going to press N on the keyboard, and let's preview this. Okay, so basically that's that's already very nice, and what you can do is uh, go over here again and maybe uh, animate it a little bit better, to go a little bit higher maybe, it's, uh, like you want. And another thing I want to do is select all of these keyframes and hold Alt and drag them in. And that's going to speed up the process uh, right over here. And then go one frame forward. Always go one frame from the end and press N um, because that way you don't have any double keyframes. For example, if I would make this one frame longer, this would have the exact same value as this one. But if we make it one frame shorter, uh, it's going to stop at one frame before the exact value of the beginning. And that's going to make that a seamless, perfect loop. And there we have it, so that looks pretty nice. And if we're going to enable motion blur here for this layer, well, actually the layer and then motion blur for the composition, we're going to see that now we have some motion blur in the wings and look how cool that already looks. So, okay, so this is getting there in my opinion. 
maybe we want to make it uh, go down a little bit more as a, as the body itself. So we can go again here and bring it a little bit more down. So we have a little bit more of a harsh animation. And maybe over here we want to make it go up a little bit better. And just make sure that you select all these keyframes. And go at the end here and paste them over here. Okay, so let's see. Yes, okay, there we have it. Super nice. And we have our animations. If we're going to go to effects, curves, and like bring this down a little bit, make it dark. Um, Let's bring in a sky just quickly. And if we're going to click on the bat, we can go for layer, pre-compose and move all the attributes in here. And if we go into that layer, you'll see here we have this uh, entire range of our animation. We want to right click on that and trim the comp to work area. And now if we go back to our first composition and uh, we can go and right click and go for time and enable time remapping. And now hold alt and click on the stopwatch for the time remapping and go into this arrow here. Uh, and simply go to property and loop out, uh, like right here, loop out. And if you select that, it's going to make a loop as long as your timeline lasts. And there we have a loop of our bed and we can now simply just make it smaller, put it over here and then kind of keyframe the position to move off screen and maybe also go and animate the scale. And duplicate this one, move it over, and maybe also go for an offset here. And now we have like a few of these, and it's completely up to you what you're going to do with them. So maybe bring this down like this. And of course, if you have a particle generator like Particular, you can uh, just drop this in as a texture and use it that way. But that's going to be for a different tutorial. But see how cool that already looks just uh, using it that way. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. 